Alright, we are off. This is the Minish Cap Randomizer Weekly Race. Today we're playing on standard race settings, so open fusions, rupee mania, uh, all the digging underwater pot items are on. Four sword required for pedestal, four elements required for pedestal. But we've got a few new settings on today. The most notable is progressive items are off. So what that means is we can get swords in any order, basically. So we don't necessarily have to get the smith sword, and then the white sword, then the red sword, and then the blue sword, and four sword. We're going to get items however we want. The other big things is golden fusions are off. So fortress is just completely dead. We can't even go there. As well as cloud tops. But we have open wind crests. So if we find the ocarina, we can actually go ahead and do all the veil falls and cloud tops, including palace. And then we also have dojo scrolls. So all the scrolls are going to be on dojos. So we know where our spin scrolls are going to be, essentially. Um, we're going to be able to find all our extra scrolls there. So it pretty much just becomes a matter of how many scrolls do you want? Like, we're going to want probably seven, right? In order to be able to get the final scroll, but you don't necessarily need to. If you find, like good enough scrolls early on, you can just ignore dojos for the rest of the seed. So far, we just haven't found anything yet, but that's pretty typical for a start, right? There's the ocarina! Okay! So we're flying. We are going to be flying everywhere. And a bow. Oh, this is it. This is it. Watch this. Watch this. This is insane. So if I come over here... Well, first of all, I can check over here. Check a few checks here. But because I got the bow... Also... Okay... So palace item, or palace doesn't have anything there. That's funny. So both of them just don't have anything up there. Actually, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Well, first of all, I'm going to go here. We'll get this one item over here. But then there's this really cool thing we can do. Yeah, 
going up this way. And we can hop off this ledge and get out. That gets me into Western Woods. That gets me into Western Woods. Uh, this is actually kind of scary. Because these guys do a whole heart of damage. But yeah, we're in Western Woods and we have like no items. What am I even looking for here? I guess nothing? <laughs> Other than that book. I set the boulders, that way, if anything bad happens... Oh, wait a second! <laughs> I can get to Link's Puddle through here. Oh, that's so cool! Reverse Puddle, essentially. Did I grab this already? I did. I'll open up this rock. And then I think we go to uh, Minish Woods. Minish Woods is looking really good right now. Yeah, so far it's been, like, all food and money. We haven't gotten, like, items. And I guess, you know, I could make my way into... Deepwood. Yeah, actually, let's just quickly dip in Deepwood and see what we got there. Because so I don't know if they turned on du Dungeon Shuffle or not. Yeah, Dungeon Shuffle is on. Okay. So that's good to know. So that's Royal Crypt over there. There's a bomb bag. Okay. There's another book. I think I'm interested in checking out, like, the lower um, Hyrule Field area.
Now that I have bombs, I can go over there. Also... I don't know if this is on as well. But I assume it probably is. Uh, you know what? <laughs> this isn't worth it. It's not worth it. We got Blue Sword. Okay. We've got Blue Sword. So we need a spin. We need a spin in Lantern and we can beat Royal Crypt. Oh, there's Four Sword. All oh, right. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can check what this dungeon is. Real quick. It's deep wood. Can I make any progress in here? I can. So the dungeons we don't need to do are Palace Entrance and Fortress Entrance. Fortress is just guaranteed no, uh, just because of the fusion settings, but you can get to Palace Entrance. But it's not an element. I'm actually a little curious how this is going to work with uh, certain dungeons. I guess, like, if we find Fortress and it's a required dungeon. Same with uh, Droplets. We need a Red Sword, right? We would need a Red Sword in order to be able to do those dungeons. Alright, so this dungeon is now done for now. Oh, I have four sword. Let, let's see if we can take care of this guy. Yeah, they have items. Okay.
Alright, so that's about all I could do here. Let's go... Yeah, let's go to Upper Vale Falls. Another... Another golden. Ooh, Gush Jar. Hold on. We could go back and do Deepwood now. We can finish Deepwood. So I can only... Oh, I can't even go up there. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's just do deep it. Why not? Complete a dungeon. So in order for me to make progress in this dungeon, because I don't have a key, I have to use the lily pad. This is essentially like vanilla D1, essentially. <laughs> like we're just doing everything vanilla here. Well, the good news is we have plenty of sandwiches. We'll never go hungry. Oh, Bosky's up there. Okay. That's certainly a spot for the Bosky. I don't remember if there was anything behind this web. I don't think there was. Oh, cape! Let's go, dude! <laughs> let's go! Uh, actually, yeah. Let's do this. I have map and compass. So there's one small key remaining somewhere. Probably, it could be here, it could be on boss, but there is two items.
there's one item. Can a key be self-locked in this game? I don't remember. I'm thinking there's probably a key on boss and then uh, something on vanilla boss key. And now that we have cape, we have access to like a bajillion things. But I want to go and get... I want to go and get spin before I do anything. So I'm going to run back to town after this. We'll do our dojo. Okay, yeah, key's there. So that means I have to go to the back because there is one item back there. I'm pretty sure it's a consistent damage. But sometimes the bosses can require a different amount of hits per cycle. Like, with Green Chew, for, for instance, like, you can get anywhere from, like, five to nine hits per cycle in there. But it, it ultimately equals out over the, over the entire course of the fight. Just a recovery heart. Cool. Uh, while I'm up here, let me go ahead and grab the... Scrub. Got a nice pizza. Now let's go back to town. We actually have a lot of things we can do in town here. Because we have Karlov Metal. Which is... Almost a bakery. Like, this was almost just a bakery. Like, straight up. Alright, we got spin. Oh! It only gives you if you have the right sword. It only gave me the, the down thrust one. I need regular sword and green sword for, for those dojos. Oh, that's interesting. But it's fine, because we got, we got ourselves a spin. That's all I was really looking for there.
So now we're gonna check out our next dungeon, see what, what else we have. What other dungeons we have to complete today? Set up my shortcut for later. Because I know I'm going to need it. And I know I'm going to need it because I'm just going to flute away from, from this dungeon after I leave. It's vanilla, okay. So we can't really do much here. Actually, yeah, no, I need, I need flippers if I want to do that route. I was thinking I could go vanilla route, but I need flippers. I have Gushar already. So I can beat Royal Crypt as soon as I get a Lantern. I can start doing some work in here once I get Lantern as well. I can't beat it unless I get Red Sword. Robo Bombs are cool. Graveyard Key. Okay. So that's one step closer to graveyard entrance. Um. Yeah, let's do the top of uh, Cloud Tops here. Because we don't necessarily need to go into the dungeon, but I can at least figure out what dungeons they are. It's not barren. That's something to think about as well. It's not a barren dungeon. It's just not required. Because it's not elemental. We may still have to go in there. So that might be where I want to be. The only dungeon that I know is barren is Fortress Entrance. And that's just because we can't access it at all. Bottle. Okay. Bottle opens up Lower Krennel. Let's see what we've got here. Cave of Flames. Cave of Flames is a non-elemental dungeon. So honestly, jumping in here... And at least doing the front half sounds like a decent idea. We can do up to mini boss without Kane. And 
Hey, what's up, Kandu? Oh, it's going pretty well so far. It's a little bit interesting because we're playing with non-progressive swords. So I already have four swords. But I can't, like, go back and do other things because I don't have the smaller swords. I have blue. I have blue and four. But I'm still missing red, I'm still missing green and uh, smith sword. Yeah, I'm gonna need red sword for droplets, at least. Uh, Smith Sword and Green Sword are, are gonna unlock dojos. And dojos have all the scrolls today, so if I want more scrolls, I'd have to go back. I'd have to get those, essentially. Alright, so I have, what, one more item to get, which is the mini boss, and then I have this, I have the one key. I'm not going to grab the key right now. I'm just going to go straight to mini boss, because chances of us getting cane on vanilla is pretty low, I would think. And that's the only thing that would, like, keep me here. But even then, not really. Yeah, we're out of here. Uh, next place I want to go... I think Lower Krennel is looking pretty good because we got that bottle. Oh, there's, there's Green Sword! Let's go! So that's one. That's another dojo I can grab. Yeah, flippers would open up a lot. bomb spot next to the vine? You mean, you mean that spot? The, the recovery heart there? Another bottle. That's a bottle locked bottle. Oh, boots! 
Yo, let's go. That's really huge. Oh, that is actually gigantic. Hold on. Because boots, graveyard key. I could go... I could get to the graveyard. I don't have lantern, but I don't necessarily need it. And that's going to be my last dungeon that I need to find. So that'll help me determine what exactly I need. Yeah, we're, we're going straight there. We are going straight there. Actually, Boots. Boots op opens up another dojo. Actually, two dojos. Because we got Green Sword as well. Dash attack, okay. And fast split. Oh! 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 Green Sword gets me both. That's amazing. So I don't need Fighter Sword at all. Or the Spit Sword. So I just need Red Sword. I need Lantern. I may or may not need Mitts. I need Kane. I may or may not need Flippers. And that's about all we're looking for at this point. Yo, what's up, Kirby? Gus Char? Actually found the Gus Char pretty early today. We got ourselves basically a vanilla deep wood as our first dungeon. Except deep wood was on top of Mount Crenel. Alright, anything here in the graveyard? We got ourselves a heart container. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it had the water element. that real quick. Alright, this is going to be our last required dungeon. It's going to be Fortress. So that means Palace is completely inaccessible. Because that's at for uh, Fortress entrance. That's really good. So we are going to need mitts. That is guaranteed at this point. Mushroom, okay. Fool's bread. <laughs> Yeah, that would be that would be something. Like using bread as a weapon. 
Uh, I can do this. Hold on. I just have to make two clones on one side. That's a key. Okay. Uh, I might need that key. So I'm just going to leave it. Well, I'll, I'll just drop down and grab it. Why not? And that's what compass over there. So we've already seen map compass. There's boss key. So at the very least, this isn't going to be a, a back of fortress boss key. I can gush jar that. That's a key. Okay. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can do that. I okay. So Fortress is still very doable even without Red Sword, which is good. That's really good to know. I know Drop is like pretty much hard requires a Red Sword. That's another key. Lots of keys today. Here's our Boaterfly. Cool. I'm assuming this will still work as well. Like, I have no reason to believe it doesn't. Uh, it might... It might work if I, if I move fast. Or, ooh, I have an idea. If I make that there. Yeah. There we go. If I'm the one clipping in. Alright, I can't get anything else here. 
I don't think. I can see what this is, but I can't get it. It's just going to save me time later. So now, where do I go? Boots checks. Boots checks seems like a good idea. Oh, I could also go... to North Minish Woods. Have I been there yet? I don't think I have. Yeah, I haven't been this way. Uh, did I kill this one already? I think I tried, but then... Yeah, I didn't kill this one the second time. It's got the mitts! Oh! Dude. If I killed that thing earlier with a bow, imagine that. Imagine if I did that. Oh, that would have been insane. That would have been, like, the biggest brain play I could have possibly made. Imagine if it was required, yeah. That would have been insane. All right, so now, now the entire world is my oyster. So we're just gonna go and hit up like every mid spot. We'll start up here. Malari's mines is like a gold mine, literally. Where is this one? There. Are, is this a bakery? Everything's a bakery.
Yo, what's up, Bone? Thanks for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. And look, we got our, ourselves the Smith Sword. The one sword we didn't actually need to find. The Lantern! Yo! Okay. Okay. Hold on. We're... We're getting real close. We're getting real close now. Let's go ahead and do Hype Cave, and then let's see what we've got after that. Because I think we just start doing dungeons. We do Fortress. We do... Royal Royal Crypt. Actually, Crypt is probably going to be the quickest one. And uh, then we do Droplets. We can't do Droplets, though. Not without Red Sword. I don't think. Yeah, the, there's that one room where you have to do the, the sideways pushing. And there's only enough room for two links. So yeah, most likely... Most likely, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if Red Sword ends up being our go mode item. Grippering. Okay. So Grippering is some stuff. The thing with Grippering is that gets me top of Krennel access. It also gets me Greyblade, if I want another um, scroll. Flippers! Dude! <laughs> what is going on? This is actually kind of insane. We have, like, the entire world. Kane! Red Sword is go mode! <laughs> I find Red Sword, I'm in go mode. This is turning into a seed. <laughs> like, what? Alright, I just gotta go. I just gotta go fast. Let's go... Let's do Royal Crypt first, because that's the easiest dungeon to just blitz through. Also because there are a couple flipper checks here. There's some good flipper checks here. I never opened that chest! Oh, that chest is there. I didn't open it. If that has red sword, I'll be really mad. 
Well, not really mad, but... Kind of annoyed. That I forgot a chest right there. Okay, it's just a recovery heart. No big deal. Yeah, right now the only dungeon I can't complete is Droplets. I'm not too concerned about that either. Because I can go to Droplets and I can get a lot of items when I'm in there. And at the very least, I can get warps and stuff. So it's not a terrible idea to go there. Alright, so this is going to be the one item in the dungeon. Not red sword. I didn't open up that chest either? What is going on with me today? So yeah, I think I think we just go to Fort uh droplets. I think we go to droplets real quick, because there's so many items in there. I think it's still worth going here first, because we can maybe get a red sword out of it. Oh, uh, let's see what kind of scroll we get here. Down thrust. Oh, this is a cave. We can grab something here. There's just so many places for us to go. Like, this sword could literally be anywhere. I already got my four keys here. So all key doors are accessible. Yeah, 
If I find Red Sword in here, that's gonna be insane. Because then I'm in go mode. And like, just straight up, I can just go straight to Mazal. don't want to do blue Jew, but it could be there. And given that we already have map compass and all keys, it's an item, guaranteed. I should do blue Jew. If red sword's on blue Jew, <laughs> Choo done. Let's see what we get here. It's red, not a sword. Sword. I saw a sword and I got really excited for a second. Red, but not a sword. I might want to confirm that I actually need red sword. I'm pretty sure I do. Because I, I don't think there's a way through that room.
Like, let's let's just double check. Uh, it might be possible, actually. But I'm gonna go get... I'm gonna go get the lever. And then we'll try it. Because if that's the case, I'm, I'm in go mode. If it's not, then we'll have to come back. Oh, I can't hit the lever. I can't hit the lever because I don't have red sword. Yeah, so we need red sword. So it's not even worth trying. Oh, come on. Alright, so there's one more check in here. And then if not, then I have to start checking elsewhere. I have ideas on where I want to go. don't want to go to Fortress just yet, because there are places that have a lot more available for me. And if I could just go mode Fortress, that would be best. Because I've already done a lot there. I, we still haven't done a lot of the mids checks, but I think it's more likely that we're just going to check these grip ring checks, because that's one of the last things that we got. Or cane. Cane checks could be good. So lower veil falls, maybe.
Or flippers, right? Flippers led to canes, so those are like the last two things that we got. Okay. One more check up here. Then let's check Veil Falls. I think I'll start with lower Veil Falls because of Kane. We've already kind of cleaned out a lot of upper. Oh, also Flippers lets me get this check up here. So no dog food. Light arrows. Book. Oh, that's third book. That is third book. That is Yolari Access. Cloud Tops is looking pretty good. And then we head back to town, probably. If at that point I'm still missing the sword, let's just go to Fortress, finish Fortress, then check more things.
It's actually kind of interesting how instead of looking for the four sword, we're looking for the red sword. Like, usually we're looking for four sword, right? That's the last sword that we need. But because of non-progressive swords, we actually don't need to worry about that. Instead, we need to get the red sword. Town has like a hundred million things for me to do, so this better pay off. I think School Garden is actually, like, a really solid pick right now. It requires Kane. It also requires the Four Sword, which we've had forever. Even if you could jump over the holes, which I, I think you can, uh, it doesn't help you in any way. Because you need to push the boulders into the, the holes. And the only way you're going to do that is from the other side.
Still a lot of places for me to check. This sword can literally be just about anywhere. I'm just trying to think of things that I could maybe do with Kane. Oh, Fountain. Yeah, Fountain allows me to... Yeah. Fountain's got a spot for Kane. Let's go do that. Also, power bracelets. Like, we can do, uh, Dr. Left here. I mean, I'm probably just wasting my time. This whole trip could just be for nothing. There's only one item for me to get. Is this tricky with, uh, with more than two clones? Oh no, it's doable. Alright, I think I'm about ready to switch it up and go to Fortress. Also just gonna quickly grab a scroll, just in case it's like Great Spin, which it is, cool. Also, moat I haven't done yet.
All right, so I'm just going to run through, grab as many mitts checks as I can real quick. And then we'll go straight to boss before going to the back. Actually, let's do boss first, right? Because there is an item after boss, so it could be there. I guess if you get good uh, dungeon layouts, you can skip Red Sword altogether. Like if we got Palace or Cave of Flames as one of our required dungeons instead of uh, Droplets, we would have never we would have never needed Red Sword. But Droplets it just hard requires it for the levers. More bread! Alright, so we're gonna jump back in. We'll finish clearing this out. Yeah, that is the compass. Oh, I didn't do over there yet. Forgot to do that. It's fine. I'll do it after this. All right, so we got all the fortress smalls now. So I can go left side first. two items on this side as opposed to one item on the other side.
Actually, no, there's two items on the other side because there's a there's a pot over there. I didn't grab. Yeah, I didn't I didn't grab the pot yet. Cuz I didn't have mids last time. Dog food. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I'm going to immediately follow up on that. I'm immediately following up on that dog food. How many other spots are there? <laughs> like I feel like I'm I'm cleaning out everything. This area might be where we need to be. Because I haven't been over here in a while. Like, last time I was here, we had no items. There it is! There it is! Okay. Wow. <laughs> I could have had that, like, a long, long time ago. Like, that's crazy. I could have had that pretty much, like, ten minutes into the game. Oh, no, I need, I need to swap. There we go. I could have been in go mode in, like, 45 minutes. We were looking for that sword for a really long time. That's a really annoying spot for it. <laughs> K 
consider it, like all things considered, I could have had that for a really, really long time. But that's what happens. That's what happens in this game, is that one item just eludes you forever. But yeah, this this could have been a really quick seed. We could have we could have easily been done by now. Maybe next time I'll think about going back to Caster. Uh, before doing literally everything else. And I think that's mostly my fault, too. Because I did the early Western Woods strat. Which ultimately meant that I just did not go back to Caster forever. But yeah, a little surprisingly, no one else has uh, finished. Nesmin has quit. Not sure what's going on there. It might just be a similar situation where... Everyone's just looking for that one item. It might not be the red sword. It might be something completely different. Probably Kane, because Kane was pretty tricky to find. It required the flippers, and flippers were at Librari. So you had to you had to use the ocarina. Labrari stuff. Actually, let's let's use a uh, shield here. And then you technically needed boots for that too. But then you could just drop off Labrari after getting flippers and and get the cane, which is exactly what I did. But I already had boots. Because uh, boots were in a weird spot. Were boots in Cave of Flames? Was that right? Was that it? Or no? It, was it in Fortress? I feel like it was definitely in a dungeon. Don't remember which one. Or were they in a dungeon? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember where boots were.
I guess the biggest thing was you needed cape in order to get flippers. You need cape and ocarina. Ocarina was early, so it didn't matter. Cape was in the back of D blue. So maybe people missed out on cape early. I don't know, I feel like getting cape early just kind of gave me everything. So maybe maybe people didn't go to the back of Deepwood early. Like, legitimately, if it wasn't Droplets, I probably would have finished, like, 45 minutes ago. Regardless of what other dungeon it was. Or well, maybe not 45, but, like, probably a solid 30 minutes. Like, we look for that sword for a long time. And I could have straight go moded Fortress. I wouldn't have had to go to the back. The only thing is where uh, Red Sword was on the <laughs> The Dark Nut and Caster. Like, it's something we could have had, like, 10-15 minutes into the run. And I spent, like, an hour looking for it. Yeah, a lot of the swords were really early. Like, I had blue sword, four sword, super early. Then I got green a little bit after that. Smith sword I kind of took a long time getting, but that's because I didn't go up to the, that part of Malari. Uh, for a while. Yeah, the fact that Golden Enemies and Dungeon Shuffle were on but weren't specified kind of, uh, kind of messed with me at the beginning. I still check just in case. So I, I kind of got my bearings pretty quickly, but uh, <laughs> the fact that the mitts were on the golden rope in Eastern Hills, that would have been really something, because I was actually thinking about killing that rope with the bow. And that ended up having mids, and I was like... But I, I kind of ran out of <laughs> patience trying to do that, because it was really hard to charge up the bow before it ran out of hit stun.
Yeah, I, I definitely think they should mention all of the settings that are on. Just, like, all the new settings. That way everyone is on the same page. We're not just blindly guessing on what it is on and what's off. Uh, the Simon simulation is not obscure. It's a regular check. I just don't like doing it because it takes a while. But I think at this point, a lot of people are just considering Dungeon Shuffle and Golden Enemies to be part of the standard settings. But it is still a new setting that is being tested as part of the, the weekly setting. So I think it should be included in the uh, description. Because we haven't had an, a formal vote on what official settings are going to be yet. And HuffPuff takes first place with a time of 148.57. GG. Yeah, Dungeon Shuffle is really fun, but you, you kind of need to go in knowing if it's on or off. That's the one thing. Because, yeah, if, if, a, if an entrance is vanilla, then you, you're going to be really confused. Like, thankfully, I went into Deepwood early on and I saw that it was Royal Crypt and I was like, oh... Okay, Dungeon Shuffle is on. And then I started thinking about uh, Golden Enemies. I could have even gone into... Uh, palace entrance early. I kind of put that off a little bit. I, I'm i not used to having Windcrest open, so I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't really prepared for that being accessible as early as it was. The only really thing, like the only thing that I really utilized Windcrest early was uh, early Western Woods because as soon as I got Bow, I was like, okay, Bow and Ocarina, and I can do the thing to get into Western Woods early. But it didn't really help too much. It, if anything, it kind of hurt me because of the Red Sword location. Yeah, with Baron Dungeons, I kind of figure after last week, if it's not specified, it's not on. But I at least knew that with the uh, golden, golden enemies, or uh, Golden Fusion's off, there's at least one Baron dungeon for sure. And that, is, that was Fortress Entrance.
I think it would be cool to have the uh, the charms. Like charm effects being like implemented just randomly or I mean I think I think random bottle contents is a thing I don't know if it's still broken but I, th I think that's gonna be a thing at some point if not already And when random bottle contents happens, then we can get charms without having to go through the whole talk to Din or talk to them, talk to the house guy, go back and forth between all that. We got all keys. Gotta check vanilla. It's not vanilla. Okay. It's been a while since I've had a very bad DHC. There we go, finally. That was an eight. I do like scroll shuffle along uh, among the dojos because it makes you think like what scrolls do I really need? Am I going to be using all these scrolls? How many scrolls do you actually need? How many uh, are just okay to have? Are you looking for specific scrolls? <laughs> if you're in the area, do you just stop and talk to a guy? Or do you just skip over him? Like, it definitely adds a little bit more complexity to the routing. More decision-making, at least.
Whereas with scrolls shuffled into the general pool, you just check them anyway, because it could be anything. Run it. Run it away. There we go. Just play some tennis and we're done. There we go. We took second place with an official time of two minute, uh, two hours, two minutes, and zero seconds. Definitely feel like I could have done a lot better there, but that's the name of the game sometimes. Let's let's just see what time. <laughs> what time did I pick up Kane, and what time? Did I pick up Red Sword? Because I want to see exactly how long I had between that. How long did it take me to find the Red Sword? So Red Sword was 133. All my other swords were within the first hour. 133. Kane was at 52. So about 40 minutes. Yeah, I was looking for Red Sword for 40 minutes. And I could have had that 10 minutes in.
still a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed these settings. Um, Non-progressive swords is really interesting when it comes to specific dungeons. Because if, if we didn't have required droplets, I would have been in go mode at 52 minutes. We would have never needed red sword. But because droplets was required, in order to pull the levers, I had to have red sword. You know, it would be really interesting. Open world with non-progressive swords. Because then the levers don't matter. The levers are already done. So the amount of required sword uses are going to lower a lot. That might be an interesting one to try. <laughs> 